Hello dear people, welcome back. Here in this video, I am going to explain a very interesting question from GATE 2003 exam. It is for two marks. Question is saying, find the output of this code. Now whenever you analyze this code, you might think that this line will give you error. Because in C language, there is no predefined function that is spelled as P, R, I, N, T and then we have a variable name in brackets. Instead, we have a function printf, but you haven't written f here. That means compiler has to give an error on this line. But actually, compiler will not give an error because you have already written this line. See, whenever you click on compile button, a lot of things are happening. Step one is this code, it will be given to a preprocessor. So step one is preprocessor. Then step two is compiler. This means this code is input for preprocessor and whatever is the output of that preprocessor, it will be given to the compiler. Okay. So let me explain what will this preprocessor output upon taking this code as input. It will try to resolve these two lines. First one is file inclusion. Hash include means we want to include this file. So preprocessor is going to replace this first line by a very big code that is this header file stdio.h. Okay. So some code will be included on place of this first line. Then you have hash defined. This is called macro expansion. That means in our code, wherever you find anything of this form, it has to be replaced exactly by this. Okay. See, wherever you find print bracket x, it will be replaced by printf bracket, then double quotes, percent d, comma x, then brackets closed. Okay. This means preprocessor will scan the entire code for anything of this form and it will find it here. So this line is going to be replaced by preprocessor. What is preprocessor going to write in place of this print? Z, it will write printf double quotes percent d comma z. See this z is this x. Okay, so leave z as it is. Okay. Also, the semicolon will not be touched. Only this part is replaced. Semicolon is left as it is. Okay. Similarly, here also, I'm just writing star here, okay, here also. These two lines will also be replaced accordingly. Now, whatever is the output file, that is given to the compiler, which means compiler is not going to see this line. Compiler will see this line only. Hence, compiler will never throw an error, okay. So now let us analyze this code. First line is int x that means you are trying to declare a global variable which is named x and is of the type integer so this memory location suppose it is named as x and only integers can be saved here now because its data type is int see it is not declared inside any function hence it is a global variable and global variables will not be declared on the stack okay don't declare x here it will be declared in the data section Suppose I'm representing the data section on this side. Okay. After this, you very well know that execution has to start from the main function. That means automatically main function will be called. And whenever any function is called, you have to push the activation record on the stack. Suppose this is the activation record that is pushed for main function. Okay. I'm writing main here. Now inside this main function, the first line is x is equal to 5. So you will execute this line. x is equal to 5 means we are trying to initialize this variable or you are trying to assign this value 5 to this variable called x. So you have to look inside the activation record. Is there some variable which is called x? No, you don't have any variables here. See, x is not declared inside this main function. 
Step one is you have to give preference to local variables. But if no local variable that is named x is found, then you will look for global variables. Okay. Now because there is no variable called x present here, hence we are talking about this variable. So you are trying to assign a value 5 to this memory location that is called x. Okay. Let us also give this memory location some address. 1917. Suppose this is address of x. Okay. In next line, you are calling a function that is named p and you are passing address of x. Again, x will not be found here. Okay, there is no variable called x. Hence, we will look in the data section. Here we found a x. So, and x means the address of this variable x, which is 1917. So, you are calling this function and you are passing 1917. The control will go to this function p. Function p will be completely executed. After executing this function p, you will come back and you have to execute this line, this last line. Okay. After completely executing this function call, you will execute print x okay. or the replaced line. Anyways, let us label this line as line number j. This is line j. To remember that, we have to Resume the execution from J. I am writing J here. Okay. Now let us call this function. This function P is called. And whenever a function is called, activation record will be pushed onto the stack. So this activation record is for function named P. All the local variables of function P will be declared inside this activation record. That means int star y. This will be declared here. This is a local variable that belongs to function p. So y is declared here. What is y? y is a pointer. Pointer to some integer. That means this y will contain some address. That is address of an integer. Okay. And already you have seen, we have passed 1917 to this function p. That means y is going to get 1917 and this is obviously address of an integer. Okay. So y is actually pointing to this memory location. Okay. In first line, you are trying to declare a variable that is called x, int x. Whenever you declare any variable inside a function that is called local variable and it will be declared in the activation record only. So x is declared here. Okay. This variable it is x and is of integer type. This value is assigned to x. So what is this value? Star y. Star means the value contained at address. The value contained at address y. What is address y? Address y is 1917 this address. What is the value contained here? 5. 5 plus 2. What is 5 plus 2? 7. 7 is assigned to x. Okay. 7 is assigned to x. In next line, you are trying to call a function that is named q and we are passing x. So whenever you see x here or any variable, first look in the activation record. Okay. So first preference will be if there is some local variable called x. This x is this one. Okay. We have a local variable inside the activation record. Hence, x means 7. Okay. So here you are passing 7. Had there been no variable called x, then after looking here, you will go in the data section. Okay. If there is no variable called x, then x means 5. Okay. Anyways, we have found x here only. That means x is 7. So you have called a function q and the value that has passed is 7. Now, whenever this function q will be completely executed, you will come back to this function only. And from where will you resume? You are going to resume from here. Okay. I am labeling it as r. That means this function has to be resumed from line number r. Okay. Now let us call this function q and pass 7. Whenever a function is called, an activation record has to be pushed. 
this is the activation record of q and we are passing 7 so this local variable z that is of integer type will get a value 7 okay this x is passed to z then inside q the first line is saying z plus is equal to x z plus is equal to x this line means z is equal to z plus x so what is z plus x z its value will be taken from activation record only because whenever you see any variable first preference is look in the activation record so value of z is 7 so this z is 7 okay plus x now you want the value of x look in the activation record there is no variable called x now look in the data section yeah there is a variable called x and its value is 5 okay so this x is 5 7 plus 5 is how much it is 12 12 is assigned to z okay now you want to assign 12 to a variable called z again look in the activation record is there some z yeah you have some z update it with the value 12 like this okay now see this line print z is already replaced by print f and so on okay that means you are trying to print the variable that has a value 12 so 12 will be printed so i am writing the output here output as 12 okay now this was the last line we have already executed the last line of a function that means the function will end hence this activation record will be popped activation record will be popped means all the local variables will be deleted like this okay this activation record has popped and we have returned now whenever we return to the previous function we have to resume from line number r let us find where is line number r this one okay so resume from here see function call has now been completed so next line is star y is equal to x minus 1 star y means the value at address y so y is 1917 see first thing is whenever any variable name is written you have to look in the activation record so activation record says we have a y so just give preference to this y only we need not look in the data section okay so star y means value at address 1917 what is the value at address 1917 it is 5 but the star y is written on left side that means we are trying to update this value so value at address y is updated with x minus 1 so what is x minus 1 for finding the value of this variable x first look inside the activation record is there some x yeah there is x which is 7 so 7 minus 1 what is 7 minus 1 6 what has to be done with this 6 this 6 has to be stored on this value so value at address 1917 is now updated and it becomes 6 like this okay what is next line next line will be print f percent d and of this form okay print f percent d x so x is printed which x is printed first look in activation record is there some x yeah we have found a x that is 7 that means 7 will be printed okay don't print this x first preference will be given to the variable if a variable is present inside activation record and yes we have found x here only so just print it we need not look in the data section now see this was the last line and we have executed it okay executing last line means the function will now end so activation record of this function is popped okay like this all its local variables are deleted we had a local variable y that was pointing here it is also deleted okay now coming back to main function we have to resume from line number j where is line number j this one it will be replaced by something of this form that means line number j will say print f percent d x now you want to print x we are inside main function so first preference will be is there some variable called x inside the activation record no there is no variable called x 
so just go and look in data section is there some global variable x yeah there is a global variable x it has value 6 so print 6 this will be printed so this is the output of the given code hence answer is 1 2 7 6 okay now see this is the last line last line of main function has been executed that means main function has ended which obviously mean the program has ended so after completely executing this program or the score, the output that we get is 1276. Thank you very much. Have a good day.